Stacey, no one wants to think about a terrorist attack happening here in Tampa, but after that deadly crash at a Christmas market in Germany yesterday, law enforcement here are definitely taking security very seriously. 72,000 fans will pack this stadium in just a few weeks. It's an exciting time for the city, but with that many people in one place, security has to be the number one priority. Obviously, the world has changed even since yesterday. We've had two major incidents in the world yesterday that are related to terrorism. So we need to balance the convenience of people coming and going to the game with security. Today, FDLE, TPD, Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office, fire rescue, and even bomb dogs train to make sure they can keep you safe. I know exactly how many law enforcement officers will be deployed, but I can't tell you that because it may compromise our security plan. And I think you can appreciate that. Officers are sure, aid on your side, this isn't their first rodeo, and they think they have a good handle on things. I can tell you the world has changed since we had the Republican National Convention and the last Super Bowl. So we are using lessons learned from incidents that have occurred around the world, and we're just getting better. There aren't any known threats right now, but officers beg you, if you know something, say something. It's, the police aren't going to stop somebody. It's going to be the public that's going to give us the information we need. If you plan on coming out to the big game, you can expect security to be pretty similar to an NFL game. Ladies, if you're coming out to the game, your clutches will have to be around the size of your hand. And if you don't want to use that, then you'll have to use one of the approved clear bags. Stacy.